Hello, everybody, it's Lego by Grego, and today we are doing a set 75946 um, Hungarian Horntail, like, battle or whatever it's called. Um, I don't really know what it's called, but yeah. And yeah, so this set is, first, this is my first review on my new phone. It's very cool. So I think the, the, the video looks better on this one, I think. It looks crisper, and I do like that, so yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so, yeah, so this set... I don't know how many pieces it has, but it is $30 in the United States, and U.S. dollars, and, yeah. So, yeah, and, yeah, so, yeah, let's get into the minifigs. So, the first minifigure is Harry Potter himself, who is a really cool minifigure. He's in his, um, Triwizard or Tournament, like, dragon robe. He has this longer um, hair piece, which I think comes on all of the Harry Potter's. Not all the Harry Potters, all the Goblet of Fire Harry Potters. And yeah, the face comes on all the Harry Potters of this 2019 wave. And yeah, his torso is really cool. It, it really cool is his Potter on the back. And yeah, red sleeves, it's really cool. And yeah, he has the mid-legs. And he has a cool, like, firebolt type room with the foot pedals or whatever. And yeah, so let's move on to the next minifig. The next minifig I'll be looking at is Cedric Diggory. Who we did was you get him in the, um, so you do get him in, like, another type of robe, or tournament robe. But yeah, so, this minifigure also appears in the, also appears in the, um, another set I got for Christmas, and I'm going to be reviewing soon, the, um, Yule Ball, or whatever it is, or the, um, Hogwarts Clock Tower, but he's in, like, a tuxedo instead of a like fancy yule ball attire and yeah with the same head and hair piece though and yeah his torso really cool technically the same as harry's but it's um yellow because he's hufflepuff instead of red and yeah it's really cool and yeah so let's, and it says diggory on the back so yeah next look at the next minifigure the next minifigure is a fleur de la cour with pretty cool minifig she has um this like, yellow ponytail piece um she has this like face that's like Kind of fitting. It looks a bit mean, though. Which I don't really know if that fits. But, yeah. She looks a bit angry on this side. Yeah, her um, boba ton, like, robe. Or her, like, attire is pretty interesting. Yeah, it says B on the back with the boba tons, like, logo. And, yeah. So, let's move on to... So, yeah. The, that let's move on to the next minifigure. So, yeah. This is um, Crumb. Or Victor Crumb. Um, he doesn't look perfect, he looks a bit weird, like his, um, the face looks a bit, just like, not right, really, and same with the hair piece, I would say, but the torso is really cool with the, um, Dermstrang Derm logo on the, um, front, and I think a little one on the back, maybe, I'm not sure, and yeah, he just has the basic black legs, and that has the orange one, which is really cool. And yeah, so I think this that's all the minifigs. Now let's move on to the build. I think we're going to start with the this thing and then move to the other build. So this first build is like this um, medical tent. It would have been cool to get a um, Madame Pomfrey minifigure maybe with this set. But yeah, so the outside is pretty, but yeah. But yeah, so the outside is pretty interesting. It's like pretty plain though with the little tan all around. You can like fold open, really cool. And... Yeah, there's some little, like, grass or whatever. But you can open it up. There's a little doorway as well, which is cool. That your mini face can fit through. But yeah, you can open it up like a little dollhouse, I guess. And then you see a full in um, interior. So yeah. So there's a bed which you can lie down. Your mini figs. And stuff. And you can see there's the um, Durmstrang logo. And the um, Bex Battens logo. Um, then the Hogwarts logo is there as well. Um, there's, like, some potions and some cups and stuff, which is really cool. And, yeah, really cool. Yeah, I think that's actually really it for this specific build. Let's move on to the dragon. So, with the dragon build, is kind of like this little side build you can detach from the dragon. Which, I'm going to do that. And it kind of just has a very basic little design, this, with the little golden egg, which is really cool. But, yeah. So that, but the dragon itself, which is like the main, the namesake of the set, um, it's a bit small, to be honest, but honestly, that's kind of a good thing, because you could like wrap it around one of the towers if you want to, like in the movie, and yeah, even though it doesn't do it in the book, but yeah, 
So he has these two legs, which he stands pretty well. Pretty cool. He has like the um. You can like rotate his legs. There's like spread like like that, which is really cool. And yeah, you can also his legs can like rotate like this. Wait. Okay, he fell. But yeah. Then he has a really cool dragon head, which is really cool. It's kind of just like the um. Like, I think this is just a, a, a regular dragon head for, like, elves and stuff. And, yeah. So, you see, his mouth's always open because he has this fire piece coming out. You could take that out if you want his mouth closed. But, yeah, most people want him like this because it will, it's more, like, dramatic, like, Rah! And, yeah, his wings are really cool with, like, these big, like, dramatic wings. Really cool. The body build's actually, like, a bit simple. It's a bit small as well, but it has little details. It's really cool, like, these, um, scales. And yeah, the tail is very, um, articulated. It was really cool. You can, like, bend it about, up and down. I decide it's really cool. And, yeah. So I think that's it. So let's move on to the final verdict. So the final verdict is that this is a pretty good set. I do like this. This is a nice little set, um, with cool minifigs and a cool little dragon build and stuff. Um, for $30, it only has, like, 260 pieces, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of low for a set of this price point. So maybe 25 I think, would have been a preferable price point. But, yeah, it's still a cool set, and, yeah, I think that is the end of this video. Um, yeah, that is the end of this video, and we'll see you later. Bye!